it's Doris with Aldi Books and I'm here with a quick video of the books that Gabriel is getting for Christmas. He is 14 and in the 8th grade. Um, he has a late birthday. It was in October so I get to keep him a baby an extra year. <laughs> anyway, jumping right in. The first one, these first three I got off Amazon. They were ones I knew I wanted. So I got How Carrots Won the Trojan War. Curious but True Stories of Common Vegetables by Rebecca Rupp. Um, I saw this on BookTube. I'll try to remember the link below where I saw it. Um, but I just knew Gabriel would love this. He is very much into obscure facts and he likes history right now. When he was in elementary school, he was a science guy, but he's really turned into a history buff in middle school. So I know he will just love this one. And it's just, you know, quirky little excerpts so yay the next one is dun, 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 the lost city of the monkey god by douglas preston you know how much i love this book and as i said gabriel's into history and being um half hunter in himself i'm having cat issues at the door <laughs> excuse me um being half ponder in himself, I think it's good that he he reads this and you know appreciates a little part of his heritage. And of course, you know, I like having it around too. And then I got the line in the living room, How House Cats Tamed Us and Took Over the World by Abigail Tucker. And this one I saw on the Book Olives channel during nonfiction November. And yeah, what else is there to say? I'll link her below as well. Okay, and the next three were just random finds on my book outlet, Black, Black Friday Haul. So the first one is a cute little naked hardback. Wicked Plants, The Weed That Killed Lincoln's Mother and Other Botanical Atrocities by Amy Stewart. And this kind of follows along with that carrot book. Actually, this popped up as a suggestion when I put the carrot book in my cart at Amazon. Um, so I, I nabbed it when I saw it on Book Outlet. And there's also one about bugs like this. So I almost got that, but I thought I would just check one out first. Um, the bug book wasn't on Book Outlet, so another reason I didn't get it. Um, then I found this one, Adventure Cats. Yes, Your Cat Can Hike, Camp, Sail, and More by Laura J. Moss. I think this is a fun picture book that I think he's going to just get the biggest kick out of. Um, it's Cats Out Camping With You. And we've seen little bits on the boat. We've seen little bits of cats, you know, out with people. And it's just so cool. So he's going to love that one. And then Shop Cats of New York, photographed by Andrew Martilla. Tamar Arslanian is the author. Um, this one is going to be lovely. I'm going to enjoy this one as well. Oh, <laughs> look at this one in the bike shop. <laughs> oh, awkward. <laughs> anyway, yeah, just fun little picture books. And then those are all for Christmas. And then these others are just a few other suggestions that books that I know he's liked in recent year or two. He got Moss 1 and 2 for himself at these bookstore earlier this fall or late summer and really, really enjoys these. He read straight through them. So highly recommend those. I haven't read them yet, but I know they're brilliant. Um, he, of course, adores Rick Riordan. He got the most recent two Rick Riordan books for his birthday. I don't recall which two they are, um, but all the Rick Riordans, every single one, he has devoured. And this, I would say, is his Harry Potter for all you that reread Harry Potter every year. Um, my son's generation is consumed by Rick Riordan. And then... Um, this is a younger book, but I just really wanted to recommend it. Gregor the Overlander by Suzanne Collins. So she is the Mockingjay fame. 
Suzanne Collins. And this is, I believe she wrote this before that trilogy. And it's a middle grade series. There's five in the series. And they're political in nature, but in the whimsical, fantastical universe. Um, I'll just read the back real quick because it's hard to describe. When 11-year-old Gregor follows his little sister through a grate in the laundry room of their New York apartment building, the he hurtles into the dark underland, capital U, beneath the city. There, humans live uneasily beside giant spiders, bats, cockroaches, and rats, but the fragile piece is about to fall apart. So basically his dad has been lost in the underland and the kids figure it out and go down there as well. And it's just this world where not only are there humans, but there are these other factions. So giant cockroaches are one group of peoples and spiders, bats. It's really cool, really cool series. And then the last one is The Complete Cheese Sweet Home Part 1 by Konami Kanada. This was so delightful. And I think, I mean, it actually left me on a cliffhanger. I found this on Book Outlet last year for Black Friday, I think. Um, but this left me on a cliffhanger, and I'm, I think I'm going to splurge. I haven't found it for cheap again, but I think I'm going to splurge and buy the next one in a series for myself. Or maybe I should get it for Gabriel for Christmas, but I don't know if he ever finished this one, to be quite honest, but I loved it. <laughs> it's so cute. Anyway, hope that gave you some suggestions for yourself or the kids in your life, because all these I would read as well. So, thanks for watching, and I'll be back soon. Bye!